Hello everybody, this is Professor Lilith, and welcome to the Sims History Channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. We are doing science fiction, but it's science fiction with a history twist, I promise. This time we are doing alternate Earth. That's because in the alternate Earth where these people live, they think of the planet not as Earth or Terra like we do, but as Turtle Island. Unlike my other Sims videos, this is a Let's Play, and it's my first Let's Play ever, so we're going to start the same way I see other people doing Let's Plays, by introducing the main characters. What got me started on this was that there's a group of YouTubers who do Sims, and we're calling ourselves the SimTubers, it's a small group, thought it would be fun to play a cooperative game. And since we all have slightly different versions of The Sims, we decided that we would not try to exchange uh, copies of the game because it would, the game wouldn't necess necessarily be playable on all of our machines if we did that, but instead we would all work with the same household and have them living in the same house. So, four of these characters are the characters for the group, the Sim Tubers. And one character, we decided, in each household could be one that we created. And one of them, then, is one that I created. Now, the four basic SimTuber characters have no custom content, and they're all compatible with the base game. You don't need any of the extension packs to play them. You could find them under the Sims 4 gallery, under hashtag SimTubers. Uh, the one extra one that I've made is made without custom content, but I think there is some non-base game material in her. So let's go ahead and meet our Turtle Islanders. And the first one I'm going to introduce is Evelyn Stinson. Evelyn is the only child in the group. She is unrelated to any of the other ones, and actually none of them are related to each other. And she has a special role. The group's purpose is to set up their, their society's first trading outpost in Earth-36, or, or in Turtle Island-36, which is our Earth. And Evelyn's job is going to be the most long-term. She's going to be the person who stays there. And you'll notice that her characteristics include, and ignore my little bouncing pointer because well, ignore the bouncing pointer, but they include being a social butterfly, which you can see kind of uh, on the bottom right hand. She likes to meet lots and lots of people, and that's important because her job is going to be to learn about human society from the bottom and make as many friendly contacts as possible, make as many long-term connections as possible. She's also dyslexic, and I'm not sure how that's going to impact her performance as a student, because I've not played a sim with that characteristic before. The plan is that the group will set up a large-scale, planet-wide enterprise on Turtle Island 36, that's our Earth, and that Evelyn will grow up to be the person who is the expert in Turtle Island 36 and who will be responsible for that emporium. Next we have Carly Hayes, and they've all taken Turtle Island 36 names. Uh, next we have Carly Hayes, and she also is responsible for a lot of the social networking of the group. So when she gets a job, she's going to be a barista, and what she's going to do as she's a barista really is learn a lot about human social customs, and of course earn a little bit of money so that she can contribute to the maintenance of the Emporium, and to the building up of cash to actually buy a store. Now, as you just saw, although she is hot-headed, she's gregarious and she's good. Uh, she's a bookworm, so she's not going to mind studying up on human customs. And she has a major aspiration of being a joke star, so she should be popular among the people. So her initial role really is to help them attract friends and allies because of her witty personality. Now, as we continue meeting our Sims at the meet and greet where they're supposed to meet and hang out with each other, the next character we're going to look at is Jillian Hilliard. He's the one with the baseball hat on who's decided that the best way to get to know all of his colleagues is to fall asleep in the hot tub. 
<clears throat> Julian is gloomy, which means he's a major wet blanket in any conversation. He is a slob, which means he'll be a pain to live with. He hates children, which means he's not going to get along so well with Evelyn. But he has this great strength in that he is a quick learner, and his main aspiration is to be a renaissance sim. So he's interested in everything around him, even if he doesn't like children and he doesn't like to take, you know, and even if he does like to wallow in his own misery a little bit too much. Next, we have Hunter Weber, whose role is to be the group's businessman. His main aspiration is to make a ton of money. He's materialistic. He's self-assured and he's business savvy. So his job is going to be to run their first store to get their business up and running from the begin from the get-go. Hunter, by the way, is the other fellow asleep in the pool. And I forgot to tell you what Jillian will be doing. He's actually going to be a detective. I had actually originally planned for him to be a scientist, but for reasons I'll explain in the next video, I had to change my mind. The last person to introduce is Orenda. Orenda Goodleaf is the leader of the first contact and early mission team. It's going to be her job to keep the group of them together and working on task. You can see that her main personal aspiration is to be a collector. She has that curator aspiration that means that she wants to have the experience of gathering every kind of item she possibly can. It's kind of the physical counterpart to the um, Renaissance sim aspiration of Jillian. She's ambitious and a perfectionist, which will probably make her kind of irritating as a boss. She has that collector aspiration to... Uh, I'm sorry, she has that collector skill to help her with her main aspiration. And then she has the geek quality. And Orenda Goodleaf is the person that I'm adding to the group. In addition to collecting materials, Orenda is going to take on the difficult and somewhat dangerous task of learning about the unofficial channels of Earth society. That is, she's going to be going through the criminal career. By the way, the build they're in is by Mesa Speak. It's called Ancient Aztec Ruin, and you can find it in the Sims 4 gallery, just like you can find all the characters here. I did add the fencing and the hot tub, but the rest of the build is by Mesa Speak, and uh, it's really a beautiful starter house or a beautiful um, camping house. I'm using it here as a sort of corporate resort for our five heroic adventurers to meet each other and get to know each other before their first day of training. The only goal of this particular video, as far as the Sims are concerned, is to raise up their relationship status a little bit. I can't help noticing, though, that the adults are all kind of falling in and out of, out of sleep, and that uh, Evelyn is spending most of her time playing alone on the computer. So in terms of its goal of getting them all to know each other better, uh, this is only half successful. I see that Orenda is trying to do her job, but Hunter is attempting to fall asleep, I think, right in front of her here. And oh, look at that. Uh, she's actually, uh, yeah. So she's playing in the water and he's getting to go to, going to bed. And I presume, therefore, so is Carly. So I think it's about time to end the video. But take a nice look at that beautiful build that Mesa Speaks did. Uh, and think about downloading it for yourself and giving him a shout out. Next episode, we're going to work on getting their skills up to something more useful for their life on TI-36, that is, on Earth, doing the jobs that they have to do. I will get them all ready to begin those jobs and hopefully to pay off the money that they owe on the house that I bought them and which has been charging them rent despite the fact that they've not yet had a chance to live in it. Hope to see you next time. Bye.